Are you facing issues with Gmail? Don't worry, you're not alone. In this video, we'll explore some common troubleshooting tips to get Gmail up and running again. So, let's dive right in. First tip is to check if Gmail is experiencing a widespread outage. Head over to the Google Workspace status dashboard, where you'll find information about Gmail status. Alternatively, you can visit Down Detector, a website that collects user reports to identify service outages. They even have a handy map to help you determine if the problem is localized. If the issue seems to be specific to your device or network, let's start with a simple yet effective troubleshooting tip, close and reopen Gmail. Often, local issues can be resolved by simply restarting the Gmail application. If you're using a browser, try restarting the entire browser instead of just closing the tab. Another crucial step is to ensure that the Sync Gmail option is turned on. Accidental changes to settings can sometimes affect the functionality of Gmail. To check this on your Android device, follow these steps. Open the Gmail app and tap on the three-line menu button in the top left corner. Go into Settings, tap on your account, scroll down to the Data Usage section, and make sure the checkmark next to Sync Gmail is toggled on. Keeping your apps updated is important. Outdated versions can sometimes conflict with the service. Check the Google Play Store for any available updates for Gmail or other relevant apps. Additionally, ensure that your device's operating system is up to date. Restarting your device is a tried and true method for troubleshooting various tech issues, and it often works for Gmail too. Simply restart your Android phone by pressing the power and volume up buttons simultaneously. When prompted, select Restart and let your device reboot. Once it's up and running again, try using Gmail. If the previous steps didn't resolve the issue, let's try removing and re-adding your Google account. Please note that this step should only be taken if other methods have failed, as it may cause inconvenience if your Google account is connected to multiple services on your phone. Here's how to do it. Open the Settings app, select Passwords and Accounts, find the Google account you want to remove, tap on it, and hit Remove Account. Follow the instructions and confirm the removal. To re-add your Google account, go to Passwords and Accounts in the Settings app, tap on Add Account, choose Google, enter your credentials, and follow the instructions. Before assuming that Gmail is the problem, check your internet connection. Test other apps or websites to see if they're functioning properly. A simple Google search can help verify your internet connectivity. If other devices are also experiencing issues, it's likely an internet problem. If none of the above methods resolve the Gmail issue, clearing the cache and data might do the trick. Sometimes, corrupted cache or data can cause problems. Keep in mind that clearing data will remove all information, including your account and settings. Here's how to clear the cache on Android and Chrome for Windows. On Android, open the Settings app, go into Apps, find the Gmail app under See All Apps, tap on Storage and Cache, and hit Clear Cache. If necessary, select Clear Storage for a clean start. On Chrome for Windows, open Chrome, click on the three-dot menu button in the top right corner, go into Settings, select Security and Privacy in the left side column, choose Clear Browsing Data, check the boxes for the data you want to delete. Consider clearing everything for serious issues, select All Time in the time range, and hit Clear Data. Lastly, if you're using a browser instead of the Gmail app, it's important to note that Gmail officially supports browsers like Google Chrome, Firefox, Safari, and Microsoft Edge. Other browsers might work, but Google doesn't provide official support for them. Sometimes, browser extensions or applications can interfere with Gmail's functionality. To check if an extension is causing the issue, try accessing Gmail in your web browser's private or incognito mode. If Gmail works fine there, consider disabling browser extensions one by one until you find the problematic one. Here's how to disable a Chrome extension on Windows. Open Chrome, click on the three-dot menu button in the top right corner, go into Settings, select Extensions on the left column, find the extension you want to disable, and turn off the toggle switch in its top right corner. You can also delete the extension by clicking Remove and confirming the action. If none of the troubleshooting steps we've covered so far have resolved the Gmail issue, don't worry. You can always reach out to Google's Help Center for further assistance. They have dedicated experts ready to help you with any Gmail-related problems. 
If you need more assistance or have any other Google-related questions, consider connecting with a Google expert through Just Answer and raise your issue. You can also visit Google Help Center. We put the links in the description below this video. Thanks for watching.